Hey guys, Willpower64 here, bringing you all back to another part of The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. In the last part, we explored the ancient castle of Ikana, and we learned the Elegy of Emptiness. And in this part, we're going to go to Clock Town. Now, before I go, make sure you hit this owl statue. Unless you really want to go climbing up Stone Tower Temple again, I recommend hitting the owl statue, which is right where we are. So, if you're playing along, you should have hit it by now. Anyways... To Clock Town we go. Now, why are we going to Clock Town exactly? We have one mini game that we need to do. We got to do the couples mini game because this is a mini game that you got to play on all three days. So we're going to do this one, which in my opinion is kind of the funnest one. The first one's the hardest one. This one's more the fun one, and then the last one is the easiest one. Where it's, I mean, it, it's easy if you're good at shooting arrows, but if you're not, then this may be hard for you. Anyways, we want to go in here. Go in here. Talk to them again. Hello. <laughs> Looks like we have a visitor, honey. I wonder if it's a customer, darling. Oh, are you the one who got a perfect score yesterday? Would you like to play again? Today is Basket Bomb Day. Isn't it, darling? Hang on, they copied that from from Mario Party, didn't they? Or no, it's technically called Bomb Skip Ball. But this is Basket Bomb. Anyways, the whole point of this minigame is for you to shoot bombs into the baskets. Don't fall, however. So all you want to do is just throw an aim, and I missed my first one. But come on, we can... Oh, okay. That one didn't count, really? Come on, stay in there. Uh, why is that one not counting? Come on. Stay in there. Wow. I said this is the funnest one, yet I'm having the hardest time. There we go. And that goes... You go in there or not? Please stay. In. Oh, oh, there you go. I said this was the funnest one yet, and then this happens. You know, the game likes to make a liar out of me. It really does. At least you have limited bombs, so it's not like if you. Oh god, now we're going really fast. Okay. Oh come on, that should have counted. Okay, we're running out of time though. Why did that one not count? And I'm. I'm gonna fail this, aren't I? Oh, I totally am. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Oh, now it counts. Oh, and I fell in the water. All done. You gotta be kidding me. It's all over, honey. Yeah, th those first ones were horrible shots. Come on, we can do better. Yes, yes, we wanna play again. Take my money. But don't worry, I'm gonna get money out of this. I know I will. All right, come on. Oh, no! Fell in the water! Wow. <laughs> you know what? Next time I say anything about a minigame in any kind of later game, I'm not going to say anything about it until it's done. Because I feel like I jinx myself every time I say this about a minigame. Every time I say, like, oh, this is a fun minigame, you're going to have an easy time. But then I go and do it, and it's like, nope. Joke's on you. You have a horrible time. Okay. Ow! Oh, for God's sakes. Ha <laughs> ha! Okay, you know what? I'm just going to be quiet. Once it starts, I'm going to keep my mouth shut. Let's go. Come on. Because you know what? I've learned if I talk doing this, it goes horribly. So let's go. Let's do this. Okay, quiet time. I am so mad right now. Literally at the first few seconds, it was going so well, and then... I hate I hate you two. You got a perfect score. We have to share our happiness with him. Yeah, show me your happiness. Thank you. When I said show me your happiness, just keep hugging. I don't want to see anything else other than that. Moving on! All right. Now that that's taken care of... That was, that's just so stupid. We're going back to Stone Tower Temple. That was the one thing I wanted to do before we ventured off. I wanted to make sure I got that minigame done and done with. All right. To 
Stone Tower Temple we go. All right, Stone Tower Temple. Now, kind of similar to how it was with the um, the Woodfall Temple. We're gonna be doing half of it and then coming back half after. So, we got these statues here. We're gonna have to play the LG and Emptiness once again, which we learned in the last part. So, this temple, in my opinion, is my favorite temple in Majora's Mask. As a matter of fact, I think it's my favorite temple in all Zelda games. This temple is just so much fun to do. Now you wanna hit this one, which will cause those ones to act. And since we got the Zora Mask out, we might as well. I thought I almost hit the wrong button there for a second. I was like, uh-oh. But no, we're good. All right. Yeah, this is my favorite Zelda dungeon out of all the Zelda games, in my opinion. This, just something about this area, this dungeon, it's got such a cool gimmick to it. And sure, you could be like, well, playing the same song over and over and over again could get annoying, doesn't it? Oh. Oh, we played everything. We played it the wrong way. Okay, hold on one second. We were supposed to do that one first. But because we didn't, oops, okay. So what we're gonna do, no, we wanna, we wanna stay as a Goron for this. We're gonna have to redo the, the I keep hitting the wrong button. Okay. There we go. Yeah, we were supposed to hit this switch first and then do that one, but we messed up. Now, hopefully this doesn't, mean I have to redo both of these? I'm hoping not. Okay, that goes there. Now, as a Zora, we gotta be a Zora for this. Hey, you know what? Just in case, I have to re- nope. I have to redo the Goron one, too. So we'll do it right here. There we go. Sorry about this is- I kind of made a big mistake here doing that, but it's a fine. It's everything's okay. I think I'm still kind of shaken by the whole bomb thing because that was just like what? Oh, we're gonna have to. Oh, wait, no, maybe not. Okay. Now if I stand here, okay, there you go. That fixes it. Good. All right, here we go. All right, that fixes it. Okay, I probably put a little time stamp in, like skip to this part here just to fix it. But yeah, there we go. Now we are ready to enter this dungeon. So, you're probably thinking, like I said before, why could this be your favorite dungeon when you have this gimmick of having to constantly play a song over and over again? And, eh, you know what? That's a reasonable point. But that's not the gimmick of this place. It is, that's part of it, but there's something else to this place. Here we go, Stone Tower Temple. That kind of gave away what the gimmick of this place is, but hopefully no one noticed. Start things off, we want arrows. And you see that eye, you wanna shoot the eye. Causing a chest to appear. Cool. Uh, we want our hook shot for this. Cause with our hook shot, um, can I get rid of that bomb chew? There you go. Uh, nope. Oh, that works. Okay, good. Works for me. Open this up. You get yourself a stray fairy for your troubles. There you go. Let's get rid of that. And let's get rid of that one, too. Or... There you go. Let's get rid of that one. Good. All right. Uh, we could go that way. But first... Uh, because if you go that way, it actually gets blocked up. So instead, we want to go this way. Now, supposing this place gets creepy at nighttime, which hopefully we'll see this place at night. All right, in this room here, I'm gonna leave this bomb chew over here to me. Ah, I didn't break up the wall. Oh well, oh well, that's what bombs are for. So this area is gonna make you use the usage of all of the, all the masks you have in this game, which is gonna be awesome, I like that. All right, we got a treasure chest that's right up top of us, as you can see here. Uh, we have this little box here. What you want to do with this box is you want to find this switch and you want to drop it. Drop the box on there. And now, with your with your ocarina, play this elegy of emptiness here to create another clone for you to stand for it to stand on that switch. 
Again, it's gonna make you use usage of the song, all your transformation mats, and all your transformation abilities. Everyone's gonna be, be used here, even the Deku. Deku's gonna get some love. All right, now with this switch here, we are going to become a Zora. And we're gonna play the LG of Emptiness once again. Here we go. I think after just this part, like halfway through the dungeon, you don't use the LG of Emptiness anymore. You only use it just for like this first part here and then you don't use it again. That's just me, I think, as far as I'm gonna remember. All right, oh. So yeah, you got this big door here. That's the whole point of this. So you got that guy here, this guy here. And if you go over, I think it's over here. Yeah, here you go. Uh, you need Goron, and you know what? We're going to be a Deku as well, and we'll be a Deku just to show this guy off again. Don't have to do this, but just because we're using all of them and we're not using the Deku one, that's why I'm going to do it here. Because, you know, give the Deku some love. The guy barely gets seen. Or at least this one. This one barely gets seen. All right, and now, as a Goron, hit this switch, and that activates the door. Very good. Now, there we go. And I think, as far as I'm aware, that may be the last time we use the LG of Emptiness in Stone Tower Temple, as far as I'm aware. I think we gotta use it a few more times, but not as often as you think. All right, uh, before we go though, I quickly just wanna make sure of something, because I have a hunch. Is it over here? Yeah, okay, there's a few boxes here in case you don't want to use the LG of Emptiness, so. You gotta use it once at least, though. Okay, uh, we wanna go over here. Go back being a human for this. Uh, you got a couple of patches of grass here, which you can spin attack. That's pretty cool. However, um, what do we want? I gotta, I, th I think you need bombs here for something, hang on. Let's just get rid of this guy. And I think right here, you want to drop a bomb right here on this platform because that breaks open a hole. Very cool. Now, I don't think it does the same for this one here, though. No, it doesn't. It's just for that one. Okay. Yeah, I think if you go down there, Tattle will mention to you, be like, hey, the ceiling's kind of rough. Did you notice that? No, you didn't? Of course you didn't. All right, this room. I'm going to shine your light on this thing here. That's the whole point of you breaking down the, the ceiling up there. That was to do that. All right. And now, we got lava here. But as a Goron, Gorons can walk on lava. As seen here. See? Oh, and now if you notice, if you're playing the Switch version or any other version, your controller's going to start vibrating, which means there's something there. So first things first, we want to open up this door, this chest here. And what do we get out of it? What do we get for our troubles? We got the dungeon map. That's pretty handy, but that's not what we need. We need a key. So, if you want to punch these guys. There you go. So you want to punch these guys a few times. And that will activate all of these guys. If I can show this off here. That is an Armos, right? Shh, don't touch it. Blow it up before it awakens, please. Well, I don't think we need to worry because I just did that. And that kind of got rid of it. You want to take out these guys that are around here. Goron's probably the best one to do this with because one punch from these guys or an explosion from these guys will do it. Since these guys blow up, these four here, or I think it's just the two front ones. I could be wrong. Open this up. And you got yourself a small key. And man, I'm surprised that key didn't melt because of the lava that's in here. But hey, that's okay. All right. Uh, you could fight these guys. But instead, what you want to do, you want to get your hook shot. Because with your hook shot, you want to look up. Because in here, or right here, I should say, is another stray fairy. So that makes two so far. That's pretty good. All right. Now, this way. Back out here. Now that we have the key, we don't need to worry about this area. We can actually enter this room. Let's go in here. All right, we got water here. We got another Beamos over here. So now we're going to need the usage of the Zora Link. First time for us to go swimming. Like so, we wanna 
You want to technically... Okay, this is the one part of this area I don't like. If you're swimming, you got to carefully swim around, avoid the bombs, and you got to... You got to jump up like that. You got to swim up. Which is kind of annoying. These bombs kind of get in the way, but come on, let's see what we can do here. Stay down. Oh, that's not down enough. Or it was. Okay, good. All right. We want to open this up. Because in here, you got yourself a small key. That's going to be pretty handy. All right. Uh, you got this guy over here, which is just spinning around. Uh, what you can do, you got this switch over here. What you can do with the power of a bomb. You can throw that over there, which will cause this switch to activate. And that will cause a treasure chest to appear, but we can't do anything about that just yet. Not yet, at least. All right, back being Azora. We're gonna go down carefully. I was gonna say, we're gonna hit some bombs there. We're gonna swim over. No, not that way. No, we wanna go this way. Avoid that guy there. You gotta switch there, but we're not gonna worry about that now. All right, in this room, what do you wanna do? You want to swim all the way down. Because down here, not only is there enemies around here, you got all of these guys around here. But what you want to do is hit this switch. And that will cause a treasure chest to appear upside down. Odd, but okay. Alright, so that was kind of weird. I don't know why that happened, but alright. Alright. You might notice there was a switch upside down there too. We're not going to worry about that just yet. All right. I'm pretty sure that's everything we want to do around here. Yeah, I think so. Okay. So what do we want to do now is we want to go over this way. We're going to avoid the enemies that are around down below us. Now, if you notice right here, you got yourself some light, which is pretty candy. What you want to do is you want to shine the light on this door here. Shine the light on that mirror, causes another light ray to appear, and with with it just barely hanging on, you get rid of that. That's pretty cool. All right, we got another one of these guys here. Get rid of him. Open this up, and this should lead us. I think this should give us the compass, as far as I'm aware. Let's see. Yep, we found the compass. Now, many of the dungeon's hidden things will appear. Cool. As you can see, this room has a lot of treasure chests for us to get. And we're back here in the main room. That's pretty cool. Sadly, there's something else that we can do over here. So we're going to go back this way. All right. So over here, if you recall, we have the key, the thing that we needed. So what we want to do is open this door. This room, okay. This room. This room sucks. We want Goron for this. Goron Link to punch. Punch again. And punch again. And because what makes this room sucks is these guys here. You're gonna want your bunny hood if you have it. I recommend the bunny hood here. So what we're gonna do. Yeah, sadly, uh, yeah. Your light doesn't hurt these guys. But what you can do with these guys is you can hit these lights or these sun things, which will cause stuff to appear in this room. So we want to make sure we hit all these. Some of these might not do anything, though. Yeah, like that one didn't do anything. That one didn't do anything. What about you guys? You guys do anything? No. No, and get out of here. And what about you? Will you do anything for me? Nope. It was just that one. All right. So let's get our bunny hood for this. We want to hit this. And we got a straight fairy. That's our third one. I feel like I'm missing one. I feel like I'm missing quite a bit, but we should be okay. All right. Uh, what you want to do, shine your light onto that mirror there once I get rid of these guys. Yeah, this is what makes these guys a pain. This room a pain is these guys. So with your light, shine it on there. And then quickly run over and shine the light on this, which will cause this pathway to open up and now go over here and oh hi you got this guy we saw this guy before he smells like gunpowder what you want to do get your hook shot out and you want to 
blow that guy up. Just like that. And in here is another stray fairy. That's our fourth one. All right. Now get ready because this part's gonna suck. What you gotta do is this. You gotta aim for this mirror here. You gotta hold on to it as long as you possibly can. Like so, and then you wanna quickly go over to this mirror. Which does that, and then quickly. Ah! It wasn't any properly. Yeah, you gotta kinda do a chain. And with these pose being around here, it doesn't make things easier. So we're gonna do this real quick. Okay, and then quickly shine onto that light there. And then quickly turn and you jerk! <laughs> this is why I hate this room. This room, out of the entire area, this room sucks the most. Okay. Let's try this again. I think we got it this time. We're gonna be quiet. No, we don't got it. <laughs> that didn't help. Quickly, as long as we can. Get out of here. This is why I don't like this room. This room is probably the only part of this dungeon I don't like is this room. Okay. That should be good. Shine it on that one. And quickly. Nope, not on that. Ah, oh, okay. That sucks. It's the auto lock that's annoying me here. Go. Okay, can I finally get it this time? Ah! Oh, I almost got it. Dang it. If it wasn't for these pose, it wouldn't be bad. Get out of here. Just go. I'll cut ahead until I finally get it. I say that and this is gonna be this is gonna be the part I get it. There we go, finally. Didn't take as long as I had hoped it would, but dang, okay, that's, like I said, it's the one part I hate the most in this area, is that part there, because it just takes so long for you to, it's because of these guys. Not those guys, the guys, the, um, those, the black pose, those guys are the worst. This room, okay, this room. This is gonna have, you're gonna have to use a Goron and you're gonna need Deku for this. So we're gonna be a Goron real quick. I'm gonna hop down. You got this switch here. And what you wanna do is you wanna hit this switch. That turns off the flames over there. You wanna quickly go over as quick as you can. And you wanna hit it. There we go, first try. And that turns that off. Which is good, that's what we want. All right, now that we've done that, now we want to go back over here. And we want to go up, for we want to be a human. Or not, sorry, a human. We want to be a Deku now. And we want to hit this switch. So, go over this way. Be a Deku. We're going to go into a ball here. Carefully, we want to go over here because there is a treasure chest that we got over here along with some rupees open up this treasure chest and we get a stray fairies for our troubles awesome and now now that we got these uh, I guess um, got some uh, air pushing us up what we want to do is we want to carefully we need to go this way this is gonna be a little awkward here Oh, that's definitely awkward. That was awkward. Okay, the camera angle is what kind of messed me up over there. I'd... Okay. <laughs> I was going to say, the camera angle kind of messed me up there. But let's try this again. So you want to fly over here. Fly this way. And you kind of want to turn while you're at it to fly over here. And now we're flying this way. Watch out for the bomb chew. That bomb chew hits you, it's game over. But there we go. We made it. Awesome. And there we go. We got our stray fairy. That is six. I believe that's how much you want to have at this moment in time. All right. Now then. It's probably going to be the last thing I show off of this dungeon before we call it quits. 
walk in here. This guy's got two flame swords. What is this? That is the Garo Master. You can't find him like ordinary Garos. Just dodge those swords. Like so. So pretty much what you gotta do is you gotta move out of the way. There you go. I recommend having the bunny hood for this just so you can move faster. He is a pretty fast opponent. So what you gotta do is you gotta kinda avoid him and then slice at him. Oh, there he goes. He does this attack, and then he comes down and tries to slash at you. But if you just avoid his attacks like that... Now watch out, he comes down. And then hit him again. Whoa! There he was. I was gonna say, can I see him, please? There we go! He's down. Awesome. Right when the church bell was going off, too. To think I could be defeated, though my rival... You were spectacular. I shall take my bow by opening my heart and revealing my wisdom. If you shoot, that witch releases the sacred golden golden light onto the blood-stained red emblem outside the temple. It shall rearrange things. And the earth is born in the heavens, and the moon is born on the earth. Do not forget these words. Die I shall, leaving no corpse. That is the law of us Garrows. And a treasure chest showed up. Cool. All right. And now for the final upgrade to the arrows. One of the best things in this game. It is none other than the light arrows. Set it to C to power up your arrows. The light of justice shall target evil. So light arrows. Think about light arrows. I'll just show this off real quick. Light arrows consume the most magic out of everything. See how you got uh, 2 MP and then 4 MP? Yeah, this thing re requires a lot of magic. So that's something you got to be careful about. However, light arrows are amazing. So, we're going to quick that quick. Now, I believe we go down below. I'm trying to remember if there was something for us down here. I think there was supposed to be something for us to hit down here. I could be wrong. Oh no, it's it, it's later on. Never mind. Uh, we want our bow back, or our hook shot, but we need to get back up. We gotta be close to it though. Like that. There we go. I'm gonna carefully go up here. I might actually unclick the bunny hood for this. Ah! Uh, it's because I was hooked onto that guy. <laughs> All right. There we go. Oh, okay. Don't fall again, Link. You might notice that there is a treasure chest in here. So, we got this guy here. It's a hip loop. Quickly dodge it before it charges at you. You can't do it. Can't do something about it wearing it, its mask. So this is an enemy back from Woodfall. You gotta take off its mask and then give it a poke. Several pokes, to be exact. But that's okay. That's all good and good, with, good and done with. All right. Now we got this guy here. Yeah, we got this guy here. It's an Igor. Simply attacking it is no good. I say you should. Pay attention to a sub subtle change of its eye. So what you want to do is hook up your your light arrows. I'm about to say gold arrows. Light arrows. And then you want to shoot it in the eye. Twice. Like so. I don't think uh, hook shot will do anything to it. But Oh no. Doesn't matter. Light arrows. Strongest ones to use. And for our troubles, we get a treasure chest for it. It's pretty good. That's what we want. All right, I'm gonna hit this. And there we go, we got our seventh stray fairy. So, what do we do now? Well, right now, we are going to call it, oops, oops, okay. Well, where do we wanna go now? Ooh, real quick. I'm gonna do this real quick before I forget, because I know I will. 
Uh, let's get rid of this guy here. Light arrows to the face. Nice. So with our light arrows, we want to hit this sun. And that causes a treasure chest to appear above us. Well, what does that mean? Well, we're going to worry about that a little bit later. For now, this is where we're going to call things quits. I was supposed to call things quits a couple of minutes ago, but hey, long video for this one. So, next time on The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask, we re-enter Stone Tower Temple. But now, time to see about this red emblem they mentioned about the entrance here. See you guys then.